हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन दिस एंड्रॉइड लर्निंग सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द यूज ऑफ कंटेंट रिजॉल्वर एंड कंटेंट प्रोवाइजर कंटेंट रिजॉल्वर एंड कंटेंट प्रोवाइडर्स बोथ आर अवेलेबल इन ईच एंड एवरी एप्लीकेशन व्हिच वी मेक इन एंड्रॉइड the role of content provider is to provide the data to the content resolver whatever is required by the content resolver for example if i want the contact information means mobile number information of different different user from the android so i have a content resolver with the help of content resolver i make a query by using a uri i will show you how to how to use the uri so on the basis of uri i will make a contact with the android and android will show me the contact informations suppose if i want to talk with whatsapp applications so i need the uri of the whatsapp application so i will search out the uri of whatsapp application then i will pass the uri in a content resolver and i will execute a query on the basis of query it will display the result so this is the process of content resolver by using content provider you can create your own uri and other application can get data from your application so in this application in this example i'm showing how to get a display the contact information on a, on a, on your mobile phone whenever you click on the contact information then i will show you on the basis of name if you enter any contact information then it will show only the contact information that the name is given in this text box so first of all make the object of this component button and edit text so button name is show contact then edit text so here i give so then link show contact equal to find view by id r dot id dot button show contact then name equal to find view by id r dot id dot txt name this way uh, here i just make a coding of contact dot set on click listener new on click listener so whenever i will click on this button it will display the contact information regarding that what i have to do i have to first of all make a query so what we have to do we this uh, display cursor the result of the content resolver is a cursor so here i will call get content resolver and i fetch a query in this query i have to pass some argument at least five arguments so first argument is the uri means the application from which we want to get the data i want to get the data from the content manager so i will say con contract contract then common data kind then phone then content uri so this way i am fetching a data from the content manager so i need the content manager then second parameter is the column name means projection so what projection i want third name is a selection right now is a null then again is a argument of selection that is also null then last one is a shorting column that is also null so here i am only giving the uri and the number of column those i want to display means projection so those projection i will make here string projection then this is array so equal to in array i have to same con contract information common kind then phone then display name so first i want to display the name of the contact then i want to display the number of the contact phone number so this is number so these two column i am giving other information you can also fetch email id mail mail at the other whatever you want or some other thing 
but I am want two information name and a phone number of from the content manager I am passing in projection no selection right now means all contact number and it will return the cursor so now I will check in the cursor that uh, if this cursor is not equal to null means some object have been some value has been come or cursor or cursor dot get count is greater than zero means record is available else record is not available means phone number is not available so for that i have to make a one function also uh, public void display message okay in this function i use two argument string title and string message okay so this i am using here actually this is a function so i have to create this function outside the this one on create method okay so here i will use the alert dialog box to display my message dot builder then builder equal to new alert builder here we put the main activity dot this then builder dot set title then title we have to pass here then we have to build builder dot set message then message we have to pass here then builder dot set cancelable true then last one is alert dialog box creation uh, alert dialog box equal to builder dot create then alert dialog box dot show so this way i created here i display message and i put error okay because record is not found then no phone number is found phone number is not found otherwise i have to display the result so while i have to display the string buffer data equal to new string buffer and while the cursor record is available till the last record will run the loop and here i will append the value which is coming from this so first one is name so name is coming from cursor dot get string so name is at the zero value okay then plus then slash n so this way we can put the value okay now again data dot append then phone number double quotes phone number okay then and here i am putting the cursor dot get int okay remember i am putting a get int but you have to give get string why because i don't want to display any mobile number to publicly okay publicly i don't want to display any my mobile number to you to the to you that's why i'm using here get int so it will display zero to all number it will zero for all the users it will display name then zero so if you want to display the actual mobile number then convert it to a string convert it to a string and then now it will display full mobile number but i don't want to display mobile number to you at a public video because i am using my mobile to fetch the mobile number from my my mobile 
so I, I don't want to display the mobile number of other person also or my mobile number that's why I'm not using here string but you have to use string here to display mobile number otherwise it will display zero for all so now you have to display the record so here I have to use display message and I have to put uh, contact info or second we have to pass the data sorry data dot to string okay so this way we are using here if I run this program and you will see I will run it in my mobile so you will see the output in my mobile you see when I click on this show contact button it will crash why because I have not given the permission in manifesto file so first of all I have to give the permission in manifesto file for read the content otherwise it won't run so use permission and permission is read contact then the information will be passed so this way I have to give permission and then I have to execute it this time whenever we click on this it will display the the contact information the name of the person which i have there are so many number which i have already in this because all number coming from my contact list but in place of number you see all are zero because i don't want to display the mobile number you can put get a string it will display all the mobile number which is available on contact one thing is clear that if if the contact is not coming in your application in your application then then take the dynamic permission because read contact information comes in critical permission so runtime we have to give the permission so i have given the permission from here i have given the permission from my mobile phone and from application you go to install application so manually i have given the permission but you can give the permission from your code so this is my content so you see the permission is already given the content permission like this so you can use the runtime permission allocation code to give the permission to your application so this is the all about the content providing things and one more thing we can give the name here on content list only the the same name person will display not all the content will display for that we can make one change in a coding so in place of display all the name we just display the condition so for the condition what we have to do we have to make a string variable means selection okay so on the selection what i have to give i have to give the content contact dot contact dot phone dot uh, display name equal to display name plus then double quotes then equal to then question mark okay so display name is this way selection is this now condition condition should be uh, argument selection argument selection argument should be argument should be the array in which i will put the information uh, that is the uh, name which i am passing the like name dot get string get text dot to string which i am passing from here okay string okay so here the argument which i am passing because there is only one condition so one argument i am passing and i have to replace here the selection name and here i have to explain the argument name okay so condition so selection argument i have to explain here so they are the selection on the basis of display name so display and this is the selection 
the text field which I am giving. So when I will run this again, and you will see the output now. Once again, if I put here the name, what I say, weapon. It is okay. Now it is playing the record. If I say here, VIP weapon. So there is no record found, or I can say here the airtel a i r t l airtel d t h because this contact is available in my phone if i say you see airtel d t h number and number is wrong because this i am not i don't want to show the number so this is a wrong number so but it is showing the information on the basis of selection so you can also use this type of selection also in your program Okay, but there is a one drawback in this content resolver program. What is the drawback? Drawback is that if this program, this if there are large number of data is available in your program, and it will take more than five seconds of time to fetch the data, then this application will generate ANR problem, application not responding error. So because of that, this particular code have been shifted to the loader. So, what is the loader and how you can remove the ANR error by using a loader in content provider concepts. So, we will discuss in next video the use of loader in content provider. See you then. Again, 